Do me a favor and take a look around. Which one of these pieces of equipment is the most effective at helping you to build muscle? Well, I'm going to save you some time. It's not in this gym. As a matter of fact, it's not in any gym. But the good news is, most likely, you have it. I'll tell you exactly why that is and what you can do about it today. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Don't look for that magic piece of equipment, right? You're not building muscle, the muscle that you want to, and you're trying to figure out maybe it's something you're not doing in the gym, or maybe it's something that you're not doing or eating right. Most likely, guys, that piece of equipment that you should be focusing on is your bed, because your bed is where you're going to sleep, and sleep is where you're going to build muscle. Now, I did a video over the weekend that definitely stirred some things up here about the whole myth of bulking and cutting. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, you have to. I think it's, it's, it's requisite viewing here because it really illustrates the point that you absolutely 100% can build muscle and burn fat at the same time if you respect the aspects of calorie deprivation. Okay, If you are fat and need to burn fat, if you're not, you don't need to really worry about that part, but a hypocaloric state combined with a positive nitrogen balance. Now we talked about with positive nitrogen balance, some things will interact and impact that. Uh, overtraining. We're going to cover overtraining later this week in a really uh, a, a video dedicated strictly to that. But I thought the second thing we talked about was inadequate sleep. And I wanted to cover a whole video here on sleep and how it actually impacts your ability to build muscle. The last part was about inadequate protein intake. I will discuss a little bit of that because it ties right into our sleep. So what is it about our sleep that's so important? Well. I took some time to sort of draw up my little whiteboard here again. I got the t-shirt on, I got the whiteboard, it's all getting serious today. But I think it's going to help you guys to see what I'm talking about. This right here is illustrating our sleep cycles. Okay, we normally sleep complete. We go to sleep here, okay, and, and we go into our deeper sleep, we get to the bottom of deep sleep. This is usually the majority of our time here in our sleep is spent deep, you know, going into our deep sleep, our REM sleep. Well, once we hit it, we spend around 10 minutes or so in there, and we come out of it. Each completion from going in and then back out to a light sleep is around 90 minutes or one and a half hours. We continue to repeat those cycles all the way through the night. Now, this is going to be important because we're going to talk about the rest of benefits of sleep. But right now, I want to talk about the hormonal benefits. What is the big deal about sleep in terms of our, our hormonal response in building muscle? Well, it's during this time here, guys, our deep sleep, that we release the most growth hormone that we're going to during the day. Now, even if you don't have a big understanding of hormones, you have to pretty much know just based on its name, the growth hormone is going to be good for you guys that want to grow. Now, our biggest release of growth hormone happens in our first sleep cycle. The next thing, the first REM of the sleep cycle. As these sleep cycles go on, you start to see that the REM time gets a little bit longer and a little bit longer. Unfortunately, we don't keep pumping out growth hormone at, in, in larger quantities during that time. So it's really, really, really important that we go into deep sleep at some point in the night so we can take advantage of that first growth hormone release, the, the biggest one of the night. Why is that so interesting and so important? Because if you watch that video again that I talked about, guys, I said how important pre-sleep protein is. You want to have the constituents of muscle building in place during the time when growth hormone is going to be working to help you to become more anabolic. Okay, You don't want to be calorie deprived at night or completely barren of any food, especially high quality protein when you go to bed. We talked about casein being a great slower acting protein. But I think one of the big, biggest missing pieces in this pre-sleep nutrition um, picture here is the lack of a fast acting protein. That's where the whey comes in. That's where I think Athlean RX gets it right where a lot of other supplements are getting it wrong. We combine both whey and protein because you want something fast acting available at that spot. That's where the whey will come in. Now in these other periods where we have you know, these subsequent sleep cycles, this casein works great here because it's slower acting. So you have that one-two combo in uh, reconstruction that you don't have in a lot of the other supplements. 
That's why it's so important to start off your sleep with the right nutrition. But now when we get in here, we see that the more sleep cycles that we, uh, that we add up, the more the growth hormone will, will have of, of a release and the more anabolic we can be. Okay, this is we get more blood flow to muscles, we get more recuperation. It's all positive. But there's another tricky aspect of sleep that I think a lot of guys sometimes overlook or they inadvertently know or feel different, but they don't know how to describe what they're feeling. These sleep cycles are when we feel the most rested, right? You go into deep sleep, you come out of it. You go into deep sleep, you come out of it. Did you ever notice how sometimes you can sleep four hours or three, you know, three hours and feel great? And sometimes you can sleep longer than that. You can sleep eight hours and not feel so good. That's related to the fact that our sleep cycles are designed to have us wake up at the peak of one of the cycles. So, as you can see here, if we woke up at an hour and a half of sleep, or three hours of total sleep, or four and a half hours of sleep, or six hours of sleep over here, we would have completed a sleep cycle. One of the things we don't want to do is try to be woken up in the middle of a sleep cycle. Someone wakes you up in the middle of deep sleep, you're not going to feel very rested at all. Okay, you're going to feel actually discombobulated, you can have less concentration during the day, you can be more irritable. You can feel weaker because you just don't feel that rested. So when we talk about how sleep builds muscle, yes, there's a hormonal action to it, but there's also this restfulness. So what you want to do is you want to try to find out what your natural sleep cycle is. For most of us, it's around 90 minute periods. So you want to try to go, into, go to bed and wake up at some point where it would be at the top of a natural sleep cycle. So somewhere, you're not going to want to sleep three hours, you're not going to want to sleep four and a half hours, but somewhere around six hours of sleep, if you're one of those guys that likes to sleep a little bit less, seven and a half hours would be another 90 minutes on top of that, nine hours would be another 90 minutes on top of that. So you can experiment a little bit, but you're gonna find that when you sleep at the top, you wake up at the top of one of these sleep cycles, you're gonna feel way more rested, you're gonna be able to attack your workouts with the intensity that's needed to deliver results and a sneak preview for the video coming up on overtraining, the intensity that's needed to keep your workout short. Yes, I said it the other day, you absolutely 100% can get the adequate workout in in 40 minutes and not have to work out much longer than that and avoid overtraining and avoid all that nonsense, guys, that most guys that aren't using drugs simply can't really avoid, okay? Especially if you're training hard enough. So all that being said, the two benefits of sleep. Make sure you're going to sleep you're optimizing your pre-sleep nutrition. Again, Athlete RX, we, we really work and concentrate on that because this is one of the things I think is extremely, extremely important. Right up there with adequate daytime nutrition and workout intensity. Then you want to make sure that you're optimizing your deep sleep periods, okay? And that you're certainly going into your first deep sleep so you can get the biggest release of growth hormone. And then finally, you want to make sure that you're trying to wake up at the top of a sleep cycle. So experiment with these times. Maybe six hours of sleep, maybe seven and a half, maybe nine. It depends on what you need uh, as an individual. I hope this sort of makes sense and ties us all together. But the bottom line is this. Sleep. Sleep is where you grow. When you're in the gym, this is where you stimulate muscle growth. But the most important piece of equipment you're going to have if you want to try to build muscle is to get yourself in that bed, to stay in that bed, and allow your body to rest and recuperate and rebuild and recover from the hard work that you put in at the gym. If you haven't already guys and you're looking for a program that's going to give you the hard work, that's going to give you all the components to build muscle, this is the easy part then. All you got to do is just let your, set, your head hit the pillow. But in the meantime, you got to get the program. Head over to athletenext.com, grab our 90 day training program, see what it's like to train like an athlete, but more importantly, to train hard, to train intense, to not overtrain, and to spark that growth so that you can actually allow it to happen when you're here at night catching your views.